percent greater than 100 and less than 1. Percent comes from Latin. It means per 100. Think of 100% as a whole or all of something. 100% of an apple is the whole apple. 100% of a unicorn is the whole unicorn. When you think of percent, imagine what you're looking at divided into 100 equal pieces. Imagine a pizza cut into 100 thin slices. If all 100 slices are there, you have 100% of the pizza, and each slice is worth 1%. If you eat one slice, 1%, then you have 99% of the pizza left. If you eat 25 slices, that's 25% in your stomach and 75% of the pizza left. If you eat half a pizza, 50 slices, you ate 50% and have 50% of the pizza left. If you eat 99 slices, you will feel very full and you will have 1% of the pizza left. Sometimes you'll have a percent that is less than 1. Imagine your one slice of pizza left, 1%. Now let's say you ate half of this last piece. You would have half a percent left. A half as a decimal is 0.5, so that would be 0.5% of the pizza left. Let's say you ate more of this last slice, and now there's only a quarter of it left. One quarter is equal to 0.25 as a decimal, so you would have 0.25% of the pizza left. You can also have more than 100%. Imagine the next day you buy a pizza, you have 100% of this pizza. The pizza shop owner is feeling generous, and she gives you a second pizza for free. You went home and ate both pizzas, all 200 pieces. That's 200%. Here is another example. Let's say you took a test. There were 100 questions and 12 bonus questions. You aced the test and got all 12 bonus questions right. You got 112% on the test. Remember that the percent tells you how much of the whole you have. You can have a percent less than 1 and greater than 100.